Hi everyone, this is gonna be my second and last video about the um, Jacobi method for solving a system of linear equation. I made the very first video about this and um, therefore this is gonna be the second one. All right, um, in the very first video I used uh, this matrix and these coefficients and I started uh, with uh, this vector here. Um, however, um, I basically told you that uh, just like the Gauss-Seidel method, uh, you can start everywhere you want. So in, in just a matter of uh, how, how long it's going to take to converge. Um, so in this very case, I'm going to use the very same matrix and the very same vector and the very same um, C um, in order to make a linear system of equation, but this time I'm going to use um, different values as our you know initial guess and uh, I'm going to show you that it just going to take longer of course uh, because these are just random values like 0, 0, 0, 0 uh, to converge but it is eventually going to converge uh, well I'm just going to do two iterations so eventually it might not seem that uh, it's going to converge but believe me in the long run it will all right um, so, as I said, in this very case, I'm going to use the very same matrix. So, one, uh, I'm sorry, 4, 1, 0, 0, 1, 5, 1, 0, 0, 1, 6, 1, 1, 0, 1, 4. There how we go. So, matrix A is a 4 by 4 matrix, just like uh, the one of the uh, video one so our vector x is made with the component uh, x y z and w is equal to c and it's stay it's still the same c so 1 7 16 14. there we go um so this is going to give us the very same system of linear equation so 4x plus y equal to 1 x plus 5y uh, plus z equal to 7 y plus 6z plus w equal to 16 and x uh, plus z plus 4w equal to 14 you know just like um in the other video so basically <clears throat> now i'm gonna have very same thing so for x equal to 1 minus y uh, 5y equal to 7 minus x minus z uh, 6c equal to 16 minus y minus w and 4w equal to 14 minus x minus z is gonna give me x equal to 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4y y equal to 7 over 5 minus 1 over 5x minus 1 over 5z z equal to 16 over 6 which simplify as 8 over 3 uh, minus 1 over 6y minus 1 over 6w w equal to 14 over uh, 4 which simplifies as 7 over 2 minus 1 over 4x minus 1 over 4z which eventually gives us uh, x equal to 1 over 4 uh, minus 1 over 4y y equal to 7 over 5 minus 1 over 5x minus 1 over 5z uh, z equal to 8 over 3 minus 1 over 6y minus 1 over 6w and w equal to 7 over 2 minus 1 over 4x minus 1 over 4z there we go so this is basically uh, our you know I basically explicited x y z and w in the function of uh, those other variables and now we can start with the iteration so um, just like in the other video, um, I'm gonna start with the iteration and I'm gonna, you know, draw my table here. Um, so iteration one, step one, step one, values, iterations. However, in this case, I'm gonna start with uh, all zeros. So I'm just gonna, you know, start randomly. 
old while in the other video I started with uh, the vector I found, the values I found uh, doing computation myself uh, on a computer. Okay, so let's start with all the values set to zero. So x equal to zero, y equal to zero, z equal to zero, and w equal to zero. And I'm gonna underline all of them because I still have to find all of them. And I'm gonna underline with the green the very first one, so x, because right now I'm looking for x. So x is gonna be given by one over four, which is a scalar, it's not dependent by anything, minus one over four y, so it's dependent by y. And therefore, x is gonna be given by one over four, scalar is dependent by anything, by nothing. Um, so minus one over four times zero, because you know our best guess for y is zero. So x is actually be gonna be given by one over four minus zero, and therefore x is equal to one over four. So iteration, iteration one, step two. Oh, and by the way, this is the new part that we have found. However, in this very case, um, since it's the Jacobi method, it's not the gauss seidel method, iterations, we're not gonna use the new value that we have just found until uh, we complete all the steps of, of this iteration. So, x equal to zero, y still gonna be equal to zero, z still gonna be equal to zero, w still gonna be equal to zero. So, there we go, and there we go. So y, in this case, is gonna be given by uh, seven over five is a scalar, it's not dependent by anything, minus one over five x, so it's dependent by x, minus one over five z, so it's dependent by z. And therefore, uh, y is gonna be given by seven over five, minus one over five times zero, minus one over five times zero. It's gonna give me um, y equal to seven over five minus zero minus zero, very interesting. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. You know, this is u more. And so y is equal to seven over five. You know, as we expected. We put everything to zero, except to zero, so. Okay, mm -hmm. so iteration, Iteration one, step three. Iteration one, step three. So, and there we go. Our little table, once again, values, iterations. So x is still gonna be equal to zero, y is still gonna be equal to zero, still, z is still gonna be equal to zero, w is still gonna be equal to zero. So now I'm gonna underline the w and z because they are the ones that we are um, still have to find, that we still have to find. And I'm gonna underline with green uh, x because we already found x, y because we already found y, and z because we're gonna find it in this very step. So z is actually gonna be equal to eight over three is a scalar, it's not dependent by anything. Um, minus one over six y, so it's dependent by y, minus one over six w, so it's dependent by w. Therefore, z is going to be equal to 8 over 3 minus 1 over 6 times 0 uh, minus 1 over 6 times 0. Therefore, z is going to be equal to uh, 8 over 3 minus 0 minus 0, so z is going to be equal to 8 over 3. Whoops. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna go on. Iteration one, step four. So this is the table, those are the values, uh, iterations. So x is still gonna be equal to zero, y is still gonna be equal to zero, z is still gonna be equal to zero, w is still gonna be equal to zero. And I'm just gonna underline w because it's the only one that uh, we haven't found yet. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna underline in green x because we already found x, y because we already found y, 
z equals we already found z and w because we already found we we are gonna find uh w in this very moment w is gonna be equal to 7 over 2 is a scalar it's not dependent by anything minus 1 over 4 x uh so it's dependent by x minus uh 1 over 4 z so is dependent by z and therefore okay Therefore, w is equal to 7 over 2 is a scalar, it's not dependent on anything, minus 1 over 4 times 0, minus 1 over 4 times 0. And therefore, w, w, that equals to 7 over 2, minus 0, minus 0, therefore, w is going to be equal to 7 over 2. There we go. Okay. So, iteration two, step one. Now that we have completed all the um, all the step of the very first iteration, and we are in the iteration two, we can use the value that we have just found. So, there we go. So there's going to be our values, iterations. So x is basically going to be equal to 1 over 4, y is going to be equal to 7 over 5, z is going to be equal to 8 over 3, and w just here, 7 over 2. So x is going to be equal to um, 1 over 4. Y is going to be equal to, I forgot. <laughs> uh, so 1 over 4, I brought it. Uh, 7 over 5 and 8 over 3. 7 over 5, 7 over 5, 7 over 5. Z is going to be equal to 8 over 3. And W, we just have it here. So 7 over 2. There we go. And I'm going to underline all of them because we still have to find all of them. We just started with the iteration to step one. All right, so x is actually going to be equal to 1 over 4 in the scalar, it's not dependent by anything, minus 1 over 4 y, so it's dependent by y. Therefore, x is going to be equal to 1 over 4 the scalar, it's not dependent by anything, minus 1 over 4. Um, times uh, 7 over 5, which is y. So 1 over 4 um, minus uh, 2 over 20. So x that will be going to be equal to over 20, uh, 5 minus 7. So x is actually going to be equal to negative uh, 2 over 20, which you can simplify as uh, 1 and 10. So x is actually going to be equal to negative 1 over 10. There we go. So we go on. Iteration. Two, step two. Okay. Values, iterations. Uh, oh well. Um, by the way, I forgot to underline with uh, with green because it was was the one that uh, I was going to find. Anyway, um, so x is going to be equal to one over four. Y is going to be equal to seven over five. Z is still going to be equal to eight over three, and W is still going to be equal to seven over two. Now I'm going to underline um, with green x, and I'm going to underline with green uh, y because we are going to find it in this very step. I'm going to underline with blue uh, W because we haven't found it yet, uh, Z because we haven't found it yet, and 
y because we haven't found it yet. So y is actually going to be equal to 7 over 5 is a scalar, it's not dependent by anything, minus 1 over 5x, so it's dependent by x, minus 1 over 5z, so it's dependent by z. Therefore, y is going to be equal to 7 over 5 is a scalar, it's not dependent by anything, uh, minus 1 over 5 times 1 over 4 minus 1 over 5 times 8 over 3. Therefore, y is actually going to be equal to 7 over 5 minus 1 over 20 uh, minus 8 over 15. Therefore, y is going to be equal to, uh, I'm going to go with 60. And uh, therefore, 84 minus 3 minus 32. So y is actually equal to uh, 49 over 60. There we go. Um, that's it. Let's go on. So iteration two, step three. Can I squeeze the step four here? Maybe, maybe yes. Maybe I can. Yeah, I can. I can. I can squeeze it here. Iteration two, step four. And I'm going to regret by not using a new piece of paper. Values and iterations. Okay, so x is still going to be equal to 1 over 4. y is still going to be equal to 7 over 5. Uh, z is still going to be equal to 8 over 3. And w is still going to be equal to 7 over 2. There we go. So w z um and then i'm gonna underline it. x y and z because we're gonna find it in this very moment okay so z is actually going to be equal to let's see 8 over 3 so it's a scalar it's not dependent by anything minus 1 over 6 y so it's dependent by y uh, minus 1 over 6 w so it's dependent by w And therefore, z is equal to 8 over 3 is a scalar and it's not dependent by anything. Minus 1 over 6 times uh, 7 over 5 minus 1 over 6 times uh, 7 over 2. Because it was the, the w. Okay, um, so... Uh, z is actually going to be equal to 8 over 3 uh, minus 7 over 30 minus 7 over 12. Um, so z is actually going to be equal to, well, I'm going to go with 60. Uh, therefore, 160 minus 14 minus 35 and therefore um z is going to be equal to uh, 100 111 over 6 there we go okay and now i'm going to squeeze it squeeze the very last iteration here sorry about that values because i'm lazy iterations yeah, I know, I showed them, you know, I'm lazy. So x is going to be equal to 1 over, still going to be equal to 1 over 4, y is still going to be equal to 7 over 5, z is still going to be equal to 8 over 3, and w is still going to be equal to 7 over 2. Okay, so I'm going to underline only, oh, I can't, I can't underline, yeah, there we go, only w, I'm going to underline with green um, x because we have, we have found it already, y because we have found it already, z because we have found it already, and w because we are going to find it in this very step. So w is actually going to be uh, equal to 7 over 2, which is a scalar, it's not dependent by anything, minus 1 over 4x, so it's dependent by x, minus 1 over so z, 1 over 4z, so it's dependent by z. Therefore, 
W is going to be equal to, uh, I forgot. Okay, so um, as I said, 7 over 2 is a scalar, so independent by anything. Um, minus 1 over 4 times 1 over 4, because it's the value of x. Uh, minus 1 over 4 times 8 over 3 because it's the value of z. So w is actually going to be equal to 7 over 2 uh, minus 1 over 16 uh, minus 8 over 12. So w is actually going to be equal to, I'm going to go with 48. Uh, so 168, yeah, I, if I'm correct, yeah, yeah, I'm correct. Uh, minus 3 minus 32. Uh, therefore, w is going to be equal to 133 over 48. Okay, there we go. Uh, so, uh, the value that we have basically got uh, are those values. So we basically have got um, x equal to negative 1 over 10, y equal to uh, 49 over 60, z equal to 111 over uh, 60, and w equal to 133 over 48 so negative 1 over 10 is, is roughly negative 0 0.1000 uh, y is uh, roughly 0 0.8166 uh, z is roughly 1.8500 and w is roughly 2.7708 and um, if we compare them with um, with, with the other the, with the other value we found uh, in uh, by using the the um, a different starting vector so a different guess uh, for uh, x y z and w we can see that well they're, they're different they are of course different but they're not so terribly different we can see the w in this case is um is four but is the biggest value here and in and indeed w here is two point something uh, so it's way off uh, how it should be but it's the biggest one among those. So the biggest, the biggest is respected. Then we have um, 2.069 here, uh, while here we have uh, 1.85. So this is not the, the biggest one. Um, well, in this case, it's the second biggest one um, among the remaining three. So this one is actually off. Uh, by by kind a lot because 1.85 um, is actually different from 2.069 uh, it's not so terribly different but you know it's kind of different uh, y is 2.51 uh, y here is 0 0.81 is very different this one but you know uh, we started with um with zero 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 so with zero uh zero 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 as our initial guess and we did only two full cycles so only two iteration like fully complete complete iteration or well, like a full cycle um, which is really too sh they're really too short too few iterations in order to show that uh, it's gonna converge however there are some similarities and they're not random they're not casual um, they are uh, those two this one and this one are actually gonna converge it doesn't really matter where i start from they're gonna converge to the desired value but this one is gonna take forever this one is gonna take very very long time because you know i started with a very random value like 
zero 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 zero. Uh, while this one uh, is going to take less because you know I started with um, with another value with uh, with a, with a better value which was you know closer um, than um, than the one I started with. All right, um, so I hope it helps. It was the second example and was just you know to show you that it doesn't really matter uh, where you start from. Um, even if you start with zero, 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 uh, but they're gonna converge anyway. Unfortunately, with two iterations only, uh, it's still way too soon to, to to show you that it's gonna converge. But you know, I'm not gonna stay here all day doing this um, because you know uh, sometimes it can take a lot, like even forty iterations, uh, to show you that it's gonna converge. And I'm um, not going to do it like with a pen and paper. However, if you do it with a calculator, um, like, uh, you know, a modern computer uh, with a decent CPU and so on, um, you're, you're basically going to see that it's going to converge. And uh, af you can also see after how many steps uh, it's going to converge, uh, which is quite interesting, to be fair. Um, all right. So as always, um, I hope it helps. Bye.